I'm Phil Maffa. We're here in Butcher Sound Studios, AKA Holoverse Research Labs, Long Island City, Queens, New York. My path to becoming an educator began the year, the summer between high school and college. Um, I was in high school without a lot of direction and one of our art teachers, she said, if you have an interest in art, you should check out Purchase in Westchester. It's a state school and uh, it's very affordable, but they have a strong arts program there. But in the summer between high school and college, I had a really strong music discovery in the clubs of New York City and fell in love with house music and finally got myself turntables after really wanting them for a long time. One of the great components of the production and composition programs I purchase are master classes. It's usually three students and a teacher in a small studio setting. It's a requirement that you do that for every semester while you're there. And that was the type of class that I was helping out in, and that's the type of class that I've been teaching ever since I started. So in the beginning, the first thing I always ask is bring tracks with you to the first class so we could all listen to them, see what they're up to, and see what their production style is, and see what skill level they're at. And then I like to also ask them, what is a goal for the semester, and what is it that we want to accomplish? What do we want to focus on? For some students, it's technical stuff, engineering, mixing, mastering. And then I think for some people, they want to make music. They want to jam. They want to use the hardware that's in the room. Um, they want to produce together. They want to create. They want to make a project. I met Phil at SUNY Purchase College. I was hoping for some type of electronic class uh, in music. I didn't really think it existed, but people kept being like, <laughs> you should talk to Phil. And that was like the class I was wishing for all along. I remember in our master class, he had like a, like a reverb pedal and he set it up through the mixing board as a send. It was kind of just like a different caliber of sound. And I was like, why does this sound so wide? Like, why does this sound so rich? And um, I feel like Phil really tore the roof off and like I started to really kind of value how like physical sound could be. I met Phil at Purchase College. Went to Purchase at first for jazz performance and that's how I got in and then he didn't like it and went into production and then uh, picked Phil as a teacher because he was like kind of like the more like electronic music based person. He was very much like a fly on the wall. I think the students, if they knew what they were doing, he would kind of sit back and just like let the music happen. Um, he would give a couple pointers and like help out with the techie stuff. And uh, Phil's course definitely took it to a whole new level. He put me onto a lot of stuff. It really revolves around the student, what the student wants to do and what they want to accomplish. And um, he really does a good job, you know, guiding each uh, person in their own way. I'm excited uh, for this project because it's like a culmination of, of Phil's work, not only as a musician, but just as like an educator too. And I think it's nice for like, maybe like when people read into it, like, oh wow, like, this person did this, you know? And I think it's a good way to showcase that. And I think, and I'm really happy to be a part of it. Everybody delivered, of course, a killer remix. We have things that are sort of left field percussion, techno, drum and bass. And um, I'm just super psyched that this group of people are working together and with me. You know, for some people, my time with them is brief and they pass through. But then for other people, I think it makes a difference in their life. And I think the evidence for that are the relationships that I keep with them up until this point. And I think you might also say answering a particular calling, knowing that this is what I'm supposed to be doing.